that the nude boy is just walked this out. This fucking guy. This this guy. This, this guy. could be the intro. Uh, I was about to intro the podcast, and Yates has walked off. So uh, we'll give him a minute. Hopefully he comes <laughs> back with some more clothes on. Uh, that's not what I was expecting you to say. I thought you can say less, to be honest. No, I think Hopefully he comes just... back with his balls out. <laughs> 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 Hello, everybody, and welcome. <laughs> 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 Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Frame of Mind podcast. My name is Ryan, and I'm joined by co host today, uh, Joshua, the bum boy Chapman, and Jesus himself, uh, Josh Yates. Uh, thank Ooh, you very much. Episode um, 10, woo! boys. Episode 10, numero tenno. That's what it says in Spanish. That's uh, Spanish for you. Yeah. <laughs> nice so, one. Nice. Well, I hope nice. everybody's doing good. Yeah. Out there yeah. on the internet. Well, I hope oh. you boys are all right. Oh, as well, I thought you were talking hope... to us. Yeah. Fuck everyone on the internet. Yeah, yeah, I'm not talking to you. That's not the point of this podcast. God you listen it. to me for an hour and a half. That's the point That's of this podcast. Very po- true. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, true. so. Mm. Yeah, especially I went back and watched that, or uh, well, not watched, I had a flick through the Atlantis podcast, the first one the other day right. and every no matter where I stopped it was just me ranting <laughs> the entire <laughs> first episode so he's fucking gone again why do you keep gone. walking why up? did you mention it I, I was gone what are you talking about <laughs> prove it there's no cameras I like that you definitely sound further away from the mic as you were coming back you're just like no I'm not going to you know what actually recently i have had the chance to watch some some new films for once so have i instead of working all the time um Mm. go on so what are you watching well the first one i wanted to mention because i don't know if you boys have seen it yet um me and my little brother uh, sat down and watched godzilla versus kong the other day oh no we talked about the fact that watching it at yates place because a load of people said that it was uh like the, a better version of Batman vs Superman is still shit. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, I watched. Probably, I read about online. That is probably, yeah. That's that's probably the best analogy to give it. I actually, I, 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 I did turn around it. to Charlie by the end of it and be like, "Did we just watch Batman vs Superman?" But, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the way you say, you know, the plot of Godzilla vs Kong. Like it's gonna be hard to get. No, 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 no. I know, I know what happens because I, I listened to the Triforce podcast where Perion yeah. basically goes through the entire film. Yeah, he did. And yeah, he and did. and I was like, well, that's it. I'm not watching it. I'll yeah. watch it maybe in a few years when I come around no, to it. I must say, I mean, yeah, when it's free to stream, because fuck paying for that. Yeah, well, this I mean, I I rented it only because Charlie wasn't feeling well, so. Um, just to make him feel a bit better, we, we sat down. And make him more sick. I said to him, like, I'll give you a choice. What, what film you do you want me to... You feel better. <laughs> 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 the monkeys just <laughs> boof, just uh, knock it out of fucking lizard. <laughs> uh, no, I, I gave him a choice. It was either Godzilla versus Kong that I rent or uh, Mortal Kombat and he chose... Uh, Godzilla. Ah, uh, oh, see, so, I, um, I really, I'm kind of interested to see Mortal Kombat. I didn't play well, see, the so, very so early I. games, but I played the later ones, and they were like, I'd like to know. Yeah, how I've, good I've, the, I've, the he- I've heard there. some pretty decent things about it, so I would like to mm. watch it. But I, I gave Do him I the choice. Do I have to rent it? Because it wasn't well. Yeah, it's, it's only available to rent on. Uh, oh, yeah, because there's some sort of new ones coming out at the moment. So the new movies that I've actually seen this week. Sorry if, if you wanted to go. Did you want to go into detail about um, Godzilla and that? Um, well, no, all I was going to say. Because I mean, you kind of picked up on it anyway. Is that the plot is a bit, bit naff. Batman vs Superman. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, but and, uh, special what's, effects what's wise, talking? like the the fights between both Godzilla and mm. Kong are fucking immense. They are yeah, so yeah, well they look done. Sick. They um, look so sick. visually, it's it's yeah, it's visually pleasing to watch. You just you can't really get into the story too much because there no, there, really, there isn't one. There isn't yeah, there isn't a story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, well, that was sort like, of bound to happen. I, I think, well, this is the thing. I mean, like you you don't really expect much from any Godzilla or Kong film because mm, it's like they're, they're just monsters. Mm. Like films. they can't yeah, they yeah, can't yeah. talk, so you can't really get any emotion out of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ow, oh, apart you hit from me. Why say, would actually... you punch me so hard, Godzilla? <laughs> oh, well, I'm an angry dragon. <laughs> bah! Yeah, apart, shoot apart from... fucking lasers out of his mouth. I mean, in, in the new one, you've also like there's this this whole thing with the little girl teaching Kong how to sign language. Yeah, is that Millie Bobby oh, Brown? Yeah, I think because she's in the Godzilla film. 
The one from the yeah, plays yeah, eleven in around. Stranger yeah, 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 Stranger yeah, Things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. is, yeah. Yeah. I thought so. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. I don't know how I feel about her. Yeah. So well, yeah. So there, there's oh, there's this whole story arc with her teaching Kong yeah. sign language. Maybe. Which is pretty pretty teaching all right. Kong sign language. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's, it seems <laughs> the as first thing he learns is like I've got a boo boo or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> well, the, the only word he seems to really repeat is home. He just keeps oh, saying no. home. He kind of—it's a bit ET like. He's just like. I like home, the. Home. I like the idea that loads of scientists are trying to work out what he really means. It's like, does he re- does he mean Homer? Does he yeah, like the Simpsons? Home. What's what's going on there? <laughs> should, should we give him a TV? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's actually going HBO Go. <laughs> Want to watch Justice League? <laughs> Release the Snyder Cut. <laughs> Now that would really crack me up if they just did a full full circle back to DC again. That would rip it off the story plot anyway. We might as well talk about yeah, the movie. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah, Actually, I love just it. right, talk about Zack Snyder. Last night I watched Army oh, of the Dead. Yes, yes. right, okay. okay. Have you both seen I, it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Sweet. All right. Then. That's amazing. Cool. All right. Uh right, see what's the start. Uh may I? Yeah, go on. Let's just get your rant out of the way. I thought yeah, the, right the I way. thought the acting was, or maybe not even the acting. The acting was okay, but some of the lines of dialogue boring. are fucking terrible. They're Thanks so Batista. bad. I sit there and I'm like, is this meant to be funny? I don't know if this is meant to be funny. The, the, the issue um, I had with it, just talk about acting, is that like Batista is is a funny guy, especially in he is in in Guardians, like his. His kind of deadpan wooden acting mm. works That's actually, because you, of the character. Well, because the but, writing's good. Yeah, the, and the, that, the, it's just it's just I don't but know. He's, was, but in mm. in this Army of the Dead, he's just so wooden as an actor. Yeah. he has he no is. acting abilities he he whatsoever. Really he like, really is. Uh, shall I make a chimichanga stand? Or maybe some vegan donuts? <laughs> what the fuck he's talking about? It's like, who gives a flying there. fuck? His daughter who fucking rolls. cares? It's, it's when his daughter Everybody goes loves up to... Lobster rolls. <laughs> <It's, it's> daughter... <laughs> <laughs> I like to bond with my daughter. Let's no, talk no, about no, lobster let's talk rolls. About food. Like... When yeah, I'm it's dying. A... Oh, it's like tofu. Yes. How do you feel about tofu? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck. And there was loads of bits... You can make anything out of tofu. I love the guy getting beaten around by a tiger. That was fucking awesome. That was pretty sick. When he gets yeah. knocks around, his face is all shredded up and everything. Like that was a fucking awesome yeah. scene, and I was there. I was just there for it. Like I think completely it's also, immersed it in this guy getting to shredded. See that a, I think a majority of their CGI budget went on that tiger because I oh, know. So yeah, I disagree. It, I disagree. Do so you? there's actually a behind the scenes on Netflix now. Right. Yeah, it's about 28 minutes long. It's really good. And they showed how they did a lot of the different stuff. So, like, for example, none of it was shot in Vegas because that would be an absolute nightmare. So instead what they did is they used uh, LiDAR and some 3D scanning uh, cameras and stuff like that to go and scan the entire city to be able to reprint it into any background in the correct sort of formation. So they used that 3D technology that they used for Mandalorian um, so that wherever the camera goes, the background is correct behind them. So like they're great. So literally, they could put like um like there's a scene when they're walking over this hill going down to the casino where the the vault is underneath. And as they're going down there, in actual fact, that entire as soon as those rocks stop that they're walking over, it's a green screen. But they have no problem with where that placement will be because through the camera they're seeing that. Yeah. So they know exactly what they're walking towards. Even the actors know what they're looking towards, so they can actually act like they're looking. Oh, look mm. at this big building and stuff like that. Even yeah. though it is a big screen screen, uh, which yeah, is a really I, good I idea. I didn't realise they were using the same mm. technology as uh, as Mando. My problem with it was is he so. Uh, oh, I had a few problems with it, but I also re- I, I I did enjoy it, but like I, yeah, my my big problem was was the was the focus on it. Oh, thanks. So they fuck. used. Yes, yes, thank you. So um, so Snyder decided to use these vintage Canon lenses that he had himself and then customise them into cinema lenses to use for this. So they had this unbelievably like fantastic um, depth of field and, and, and the focus and bocce and all that sort of stuff. Like, that, that's excellent. But then they had to recreate that in CGI so that everything didn't look mismatched for any of the shots that were basically all just CGI. So you've got like an Elvis zombie and a few others behind him and then from behind that, their CGI and then the entire background behind of like bombers coming over and 
blowing up the place when they first realise that Las Vegas is lost, like at the start of the film and stuff like that. And like the, you know, the bombers come over, they drop mm. all the bombs onto the thing, all the buildings get blown up and stuff like that. <clears throat> that focus is is fucked. Like it it goes like in focus, out of focus, in focus, out of focus, like like back in different layers. And then sometimes <laughs> like nothing is actually in focus. And it's like, wh- what are you... I'm not sure. I know I'm meant to be seeing Dave Bautista smashing a zombie skull in right now, but he's he's almost as like the only reason why he's in focus is because the background is completely fucked. Like it's yeah, so out bro, of focus. Yeah. Thing, it there, there it doesn't this, work. There was a focus vignette I noticed. Like yeah. literally, there's the middle. Cir- there's the character, and there's even it even looks like there's a little feather. I actually thought right. I I didn't know that he made his own like lenses like that or mm. you know that whatever. I thought literally he shot it, everything in focus, and he digitally added the focus. But he kind of did yeah, do that. Now you say it, it no, with no, the he, CGI. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now that makes so sense. Because I was looking at it, because I was just like, these certain. look like they were actually really nice shots. <clears throat> and they've literally added this weird feather focus on yeah. everyone where you yeah, only get to see the character. And I'm just like, why can we not see the characters in the background? That mm-hmm. would be an amazing shot. Yeah. I was looking at it and I was just like, I think, why? Why? I think because... their plan was that they want that they, it looked great inside because you get this really quick drop off and you can't tell what's mm. truly out there and it makes it very cinematic and eerie and, and dark and spooky and stuff like that. And in a way they're right, but to they had to use that throughout the entire film. So everything that's shot in the daytime, which let's be real, is probably more of the film that than the shot like inside or at night or whatever. Like is yeah, it's just yeah, it's just a struggle. The, fir- the first easy. hour for me was was frankly like the first hour I watched it with my mates and we all went to bed. She was like, "Fuck this, we'll watch it another time because like this is just shit." It was just it, too. It was we were just crap. we were just like, "What what what is, what is going on?" Because also mm-hmm. we'll get to the narrative bit in a bit, but like yeah, oh, yeah first hour was shit. And then I came back and watched it, and then the last hour I felt like that was that redeemed it into being actually enjoyable to watch. It redeemed it to being a, like a, I, I want like <clears throat> online people are giving it like 70, I think Rotten Tomatoes are giving it like 78%, something like that. I'd give it a 60. I think Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it's, I'll, I'll it's better than half. The, I'm happy I finished it. Percent yeah, barrier. same. Yeah. yeah. Um, this thing like yeah, for me, the, but it was the last 45 minutes that actually started to get a bit more exciting. Like when, when, when that, have like the, the But that's because that was after all fight. the law and stuff. Yeah, so he, had to do the, he had to yeah. do the world building, and can we talk about that? How the intro was fourteen minutes long, and it was of this world building of you know Las Vegas falling, um, yeah, and becoming this zombie place. But like mm. it had this kind of, it started off, and I was just like, is this going to be like the Zombie Land, Edgar Wright kind of style? Is he trying to do mm-hmm. this? But it still has the Sack Snyder. Feel yeah, to yeah, it. yeah. I That's do like I the way getting. Snyder uses his music and uses the slow motion and stuff. Like the music in it is great. Like yeah, but that's the Snyder has always been really good with his choice but of music. Like that. Like, I'll, well, I'll to just... be fair, apart from the the um, the end credits song, I don't know it what was, it was. It was Cranberries Zombie. Yeah, which oh, I thought was a little was bit cliche. <laughs> really? Oh, that's, I, that's no, cool. I thought I like that, that. I thought that was perfect where they used it there. I hey, like if it, a really? zombie movie, no, I just, yeah. yeah I'd... If a zombie movie uses Cranberries by the Zombies, uses uh, Cranberry by the Zombies, Zombie by the Cranberries, <laughs> uh, uses uh, Zombie by um, uh, Childish Gambino. Everywhere around me, oh, always yeah. thinking zombies. That one, that, that's a tune as well. There's a couple others that are like, like uh, Jamie T, Zombie, like using any of those. Nobody take that because I'm having that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, coined yeah, it. Like, yeah, I've coined that. I'm going to... Ring up Jamie. T- Hello, mate. Um, can you just not give your song to anybody else? Yeah, thanks. I'll call you in about <laughs> yeah. ten years. Cheers, yeah, cheers. See you later. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, yeah, like the, the Zack Snyder music, excellent. But like Yates said, I do actually really want to get onto the narrative because I think he again, it's the exact same thing Snyder did with Justice League. Like if if he'd been able to make Justice League originally and not been allowed to make it four hours long, then. This film, like the Army of the Dead and Justice League without Whedon or anything, like how it was originally meant to go, mm. like two and a half, three hours or whatever, they would be the ex- have the exact same problem, that he wants to put so much in his narrative that nothing is truly ever fleshed out to a point of being enjoyable. So like the, the um, I don't know, uh, like the, all the, the, how they all know each other and stuff like that is never yeah, really well, yeah, that fleshed this, out. This was something I was going to bring up because at near mm. the same end, with the, sorry, got... same with the apex zombie as well. The apex zombie, 
I understand, okay, this thing gets freed and, and uh, runs into a Vegas right at the start, and that bit was quite cool, and the way they're all chatting and stuff, and, and they have the car crash and everything, like, that's great. But then, like, I don't know, suddenly they're by a pool, and they're all, ooh, 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 and they're all, like, together, and they're all, like, they're like, uh, in, like, a sort of, like, they, they, they're becoming something else. I understand that they're becoming something else, and these zombies yeah. are almost evolving. Well, but, this is the like, thing. Like, they, the same they, time, they've had X amount of years just... to evolve by the time they go back, but it's only really yeah. mentioned the once, I think. Mm. Do you guys know how long it's so... been? Like, how many years it is from the start of the film to when they actually go in to get the most? Uh, about five years, wasn't it? Seven. See? Right. It is five or six years. But do they ever say that? No. Um, Batista, got the um, Batista's daughter says it to him. It's like, where were you over the last five years? Oh, okay. since, and is that the only time it's mum. ever mentioned? That is the only time. I believe that's the only time it's mentioned. Yeah, which oh, is so like which is like near the end when they're both on the rooftop sorting yes. out the um, fucking Heli- generator the helicopter. Thing. Oh, the generator. Oh, when yeah, they're doing yeah, the generator, yeah, yeah. they have oh, their that little helicopter pilot was so annoying. Yeah, scene they I did do like have was uh, when <clears throat> even though that I wasn't actually expecting that I, that was that that made me go ooh was okay. when um the elevator opens he's just rekindled like he's kind of rekindling his love of this lady i don't know her fucking name and then um the elevator oh, opens. Shit. That, I didn't understand. yes that was good no Those i really two, like, like yeah i feel like that, again with the story they get on really well the, and then she just gets yeah, attacked yeah he's just trying to push the story if they had a pass now they're trying to rekindle yeah, it see that, yeah mm-hmm. see that um, i didn't get because again, it wasn't shown but, it, it was rushed, yeah, but then it only it only became appropriate in that last bit. But it was enough. It was it was enough that when the, he, the zombie opened the door, grabs her by the face, <laughs> fucking yeah, twists her neck. Oh, the CGI was, was fucking terrible. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, but the so scene bad. the scene was the scene was good enough. The, sk- that I was the just skin like, fold CGI was a bit bit naff. It, it, it was it was good enough like, of her just oh the shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like like, her, ah. her face didn't drag or anything with it. It's her face is perfectly fine. Yeah. It's just her neck has snapped. Like this, it's not like this, the skin stretched and just like to the about her, her chin. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and her face is absolutely fine. Just, it, I it remember was, pausing it, it and being like, her. what the fuck is that? How can you... <laughs> Chappers, it, 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 when you say about the budget, you, that's when it started to run out, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> that, that and muzzle flashes were probably the worst parts. The muzzle oh, really? flashes See, I didn't really I didn't film, clock that too... Too bad. Yeah, too they, bad. they were so bad. This really. Yeah. There were a few good zombie kills though, weren't there? Um, yeah, there were. Yeah, there was, yeah, there was one that I tried to show Lloyd. There was one in the first hour or whatever where they just there was a zombie on top of the car and they all shot it, I think, or it blew up. I don't oh, know. he uses that, like, the um, like the Gatling gun. On yeah, the top and it was like and all the blood explosions. Yeah, looked really nice. Yeah, and also when he threw the grenade down the hole and all the the splatter against the wall. Yeah, do you remember that? I think there was there was enough. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What was your favourite death of a person then? Oh. I quite liked I, I, the the first girl because she was she was badass. She was doing bits. Oh, well, then she's hugging her daughter. Um, and zombies are coming. Oh no, no. I mean, the, when, when they go back as their crew, you've got the right. Um, was she was she like a Latino girl? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. She um, comes bursting the, out the window and stuff. Yeah, and then yeah. The, so the she, gas canister gets shot. Yeah, so she goes the wrong way mm-hmm. through the. Um, hibernating oh, yeah, zombies, got, which like, I thought was a pretty decent concept as well. Though all those zombies, kind hibernating, of hibernating zombies, yeah, um, but that's already been done. Um, what's it called? Um, uh, Will Smith I movie. Legend. I am Legend. Yeah. Although so I was a bit confused why some of them and, were hibernating. And yeah, they don't explain weren't. it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Again. They don't like, yeah, like when, if you, if uh, if an animal hibernates, they all hibernate at the same time. Right, because you hibernate so, during seasons. It's not. They're like, not hibernating. They're just yeah. docile. Yeah, <laughs> just having, having a just, nap. Just no, yeah, no, really that's what I was saying. I was like, they're just sleeping. <laughs> like, that's called sleeping. Yeah. yeah, and why are they standing up? People huh? don't do that. If you're basically yeah. fucking dead, why would you be standing why up? You know, stand up? Yeah, <laughs> weird. Uh, but yeah, like, no, no. Her, her death when she's when like anyway. they start to wake up and she's fighting them all off, and then eventually gets gets done. Yeah, um, yeah. I when the bullet goes into the sick. canister, that was one thing I did. Actually, you you are right about that scene because every film. You shoot like a canister or whatever that's going to blow up. It instantly blows up. Whereas when the canister gets shot, the bullet goes in, and then you see the heat in the thing go, oh, yeah. when like explodes. The bullet is reacting with the 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 fuel in the canister before it explodes, <clears> which was pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, I like that. What about you, Yates? Favorite zombie death? Uh, oh, human death. Human death. Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> I don't know. I like. I did. I did like the spear from the zombie at the end. It wasn't even that satisfying. Oh, really. like yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. satisfying just to see it get launched and the impact. Like, yeah, that, yeah. And, and then she like, just oh. drops the uh, the zombie yeah. queen's head. The hot zombie side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's quite good. a nice little head explosion as well. I would have liked to see more facial structure go mad, but I guess it is zombified. But it was like mm. just splat. Yeah, yeah, I like the animatronic cool. head when the when the queen zombie gets decapitated. Like very clearly yeah. animatronic, but still cool. Oh, Where I missed that. Rah, 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 what, what what did you guys rah, think of thing. the the zombie designs? Well, I thought they were really cool. I think that, uh, I think what's most impressive about that was the amount of um, the amount of extras that had zombie makeup on them it was mm. pretty impressive. I mean, obviously, as the as the crowd goes backwards, all you need is like the first sort of row of zombies. Like if there's two hundred people in a horde. There's only that first maybe row of 15 to 20 zombies that need to be fully detailed. Then after that, you can go into putting rubber masks on. And those rubber masks can be designed to look like the zombies offset. Yeah. You know, so like that that is a much quicker way of doing it, a very smart way of doing it. And then obviously you have like the alpha zombies that have a hell of a lot more makeup on and they go through different like stages. Like some of them have only just been zombified. Some of them have been stuck out in the dry desert and their skin's going all manky and everything for like five years and stuff like that. So mm. like, I thought that was, yeah, yeah I, I think they did Another a really good job. Another thing, and this goes back to narrative. Um, when they first walk in to the, uh, to the city and you've got all the zombies piled up or dried out because of the sun and whatnot. Mm. Um, <clears throat> coyote, is it? The blonde chick that takes them in there. Oh, God. what with a German um, accent? Yeah, I think yeah, she yeah. Thinks, thinks she's called the Coyote or something. Yeah, I don't understand um, how she knows she so much she without around being killed. And it's like, oh, like they're they're kind of dead now because they dried out. But if it starts raining, they'll come back to life. Mm, yeah, but then it never that. rains. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. if you make it rain, yeah. you yes, have that's a very good shit point. Actually, it, it would, it, it, yeah, it's like, the Nevada why say it desert. If it's never going to happen, how does she know? Has she gone for like a tinkle on one? It's woken up. Probably. Yeah. You know, she's out there. She got. Oh, I need. To, I need to go for a slash. She's gone around behind a bin. Gone for a slash. Realised she's pissed in the zombie's face. And suddenly the zombie just goes. She's, ah, just, she's standing ah, on one of the, uh, the, the containers. <laughs> uh, what, standing on top of the wall, the hose pipe, seeing what happens. <laughs> 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 yeah, she doesn't actually want the people that she sent out there to come back this time for whatever reason. She's just there, just yeah. Like... <laughs> so I'll just, just watering the plants. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, so I just wanted to say quickly, my favourite person death in it wasn't actually a character that had any real narrative <clears throat> to them. It was the soldier parachuting in. That was yeah. Oh, that yeah. was pretty good. He's was, like firing, yeah, I, firing I down loved... as much as he could. Yeah, I, 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 every every part of that. I enjoyed more and more and more to the point where I was like, okay, this that might be my favourite part of the film. It's only been going like 10 minutes. <laughs> like, So he parachutes down. He's like panicking, shooting, and he runs out of ammo. Then there's very slow, like the shamblers, whatever they call them, start to like claw at his legs as he's, as he's like very gradually going down. So it's like this slow, inescapable death. Yeah. And then as he comes down, so he gets grabbed by the zombies. I'm like, I'm like that, that was sick. Then the parachute comes over and hides it. And I'm like, oh, this is getting better. And then the blood splatters yeah. on the parachute. I was like, oh, that's the fucking best. <laughs> like, it's just the that was, so Whoever good. thought of that, whether it was Snyder or if somebody else sent it to Snyder, whoever they are, they need a fucking great, they need to pay rise. Because fucking <laughs> excellent. Give them a promotion. Excellent. Yeah, man. Fucking Snyder. Give it to him. <laughs> um, one thing I did actually like from Snyder is he was also the um, director of photography. So he got in there with the camera like on his shoulder and shot everything himself so he could he could like as soon as the take was done he could be like oh yeah i'm talking to this guy he said um in the behind the scenes on netflix that when he was doing superhero movies and stuff like that he could be looking at a screen but the camera's over there somewhere you know like yeah. he's, he has almost a, a disconnection from what's really being shot he said it doesn't necessarily affect the art but because netflix gave him the opportunity to be his own director of photography he took it with both hands which i can really appreciate because like being able to direct and also be a hundred percent your own videographer um, must be nice because then whatever you create must be as close to your vision of what you wanted as possible. Yeah, you know, yeah, which definitely. is really cool. Like, I, I very doubt, I doubt you get that a lot in the industry. So, mad props for him for that. But that fucking focus, like, he should have definitely used like better cameras or better lenses, yeah. whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Just... Snyder, if you're listening. <laughs> Get better lenses. Yeah, yeah. Well, give me a job. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> if you're too. listening, just just leave, just if you're listening. Yeah, you know, we all want jobs in that. You know, fucking oh, make dear. another Watchmen movie. Come on. Um, so, 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 have you watched anything else recently, boys? Or uh... I was going to say, yeah, go on, Yates. 
Uh, well, God, no. I, you, I, I've been watching The Expanse. You guys heard of that? I've heard the a lot Expanse. of people tell me I should watch let that. Me, let yeah. me give you a little rundown, it's actually. Really yeah, good all right. sci-fi, isn't it? Um, so, basically, you. this is in the future. This is the future of Earth. And not just <laughs> Earth. We have expanded out of the Earth. And we have Mars. And we have the belt. Essentially, you know, at the asteroid belt. And asteroid Mars... Belt. Oh, okay. In oh, so we've not expanded like miles out or anything. No, we're no, no. It's just still the next in our 100, solar system. 200 years, kind of like it feels the way they've done it. It feels very real. Like the science is pretty damn cool. good. Um, Ooh, okay, you're so me already. This is what basically my, my friend is a massive science nerd at work, and he recommended it to me because he says it's pretty fucking good, and he loves science, and he's like, it's accurate. So Fair. I take his word for it. Anyway, nice. um, so you got Mars, which is the 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 a military superpower. So they've got like the best fucking military tech and stuff. Uh, you right. got Earth, which is just like you know they're pretty fucking powerful because it's Earth, but they're yeah, not don't have the tech that Mars has like, compared to Mars, right? Okay, yeah, like that. Um, okay. but but they still they could, but Mars is like the military mm. beast because they've got. I um, imagine that's probably because they've got just so much open <coughs> desert to test bombs. And yeah, shit bro, on. and you see some. I've just been we haven't even seen that much of them. We've just been introduced like some characters that are training on Mars like the soldiers, and it's pretty cool. Um, and then you have the belt, which are the belters, um, who are basically the working class, and they um, basically oh, okay. That's cool. just um, mine for Earth and Mars and whatnot. Mars and stuff like that, right. But they get the shit end, pretty much. But, like, yeah, That's essentially, cool. it's like all this massive conspiracy sp- theory about someone trying to start a war between them all. Um, and it's always just, like, teetering on the edge of war. But it's, who's causing it? What is it? Mm-hmm. Maybe there's something else. And then Spookums. they come, yeah. There is I a like bit that. of alien that sounds cool. Maybe like I'll give that a watch. stuff as well. So that's yeah. good. Sounds good. I do good. need that's a cool. new TV I'll... show. Sorry, I do need a new TV show. That Jupiter yeah. Ascending was fucking terrible. I was kind of hoping it was going to be good. So oh, well, I no. need something to fill the void of Invincible. Yeah. <laughs> Have you tried watching that Jupiter Ascending chat? Uh, Jupiter Ascending. No, you, Jupiter you, Ascending. That's not called? the right one. No, Jupiter that's the one that we watched. Jupiter's Legacy. Jupiter's Legacy. Jupiter Ascending is the one where yeah, no, uh, Channing didn't, Tatum I didn't plays a dog that. man. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, I, I didn't bother watching uh, Jupiter's Legacy because you said it was shit. So. Uh, yeah, I, honestly. Me, you carry on me and Yates tried to watch... Yeah, we tried to... What's that? Did you carry on watching it? No, no, no. That's what I'm oh, saying. Like, no, uh, it, I thought that was going to fill the gap of Invincible and it turned out to be absolute trash. Um, so, yeah, I, yeah, I could do with The better. Expanse or something. Mm. No, that, oh, no it's tell just it, an I... American drama with superhero shit just jammed in there. I, I did so try shit. watching the first episode and I turned it off about ten minutes in. That's exactly what me and Yates did. <laughs> yeah. It was as soon as it was as soon as the uh, is is it the the dad or like the main guy? Oh, it was live action, wasn't um, it? That's why it was so he, bad. He, tur- he turned around yeah. to his son. Well, Marvel and was like, is live action, but what the fuck were they no, thinking? No, I remember no because it had this cheesy look to it. Well, it was it was mm. just it was as soon as one of the characters turned around and said, "With great power comes great responsibility." I was like, "No, nope, off you go." Did he act? Did they actually <laughs> say off. that? They actually used yeah. that. For fuck's sake! Yeah, which I remember that's clearly so because bad. that's why I turned it off. I was like, "No, fuck you! No, steal Spider Man from me." <laughs> mm, that's such a sh- that's a shame. I think me and Yates got to the like battling the bad guy, and the CG was just fucking terrible. I don't. And the bad I don't guy even had the most horrendous. There yeah, was a the good. Most... There was a good body slam. Do you remember that? <laughs> Where he, I think he grabbed him and he whacked him. Sort of, but it just looked so green screened. It looked green oh, screened no, as yeah. fuck. Like, it's so bad. And the, the bad guy's mask was all rubbery and shit. And it was just, oh, it's just so. Ugh. Um, but something new that I have watched this week. Um, I swear, wait, it's not new, it's quite old. But it. Uh, so I heard Tarantino going on, on an interview that I was watching about um, a police story, Jackie Chan's police story. So somebody was asked. Uh, so this, uh, it's one of, the, one of those, I don't know if you guys have seen, Hollywood Reporter do these things called roundtable interviews. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. they're so good. And I was watching the, um, the director's roundtable who had like uh, Tarantino, Ridley Scott, the director that did um, uh, uh, The Revenant, uh, some of the guys on there as well, like really, really good like table of guests. And uh, the, the host basically said, if you could put any scene from a movie uh, into a time capsule to show people in the future or show aliens like after the human race is gone or something like that like what scene would you show and tarantino said the end scene of police story three 
and I went, what the fuck is police story? <laughs> it's like, wow, that must set an incredible example. If that's what, if that's what um, Tarantino will pick. So I was like, right, okay. So last night I went and you can't get it like not properly streamed anyway. You have to rent it, but it's not a lot. It's like three, three quid or something. So, um, so yeah, so I went and I watched police story one last night. So Jackie Chan uh, directed and at stars the lead in it. Um, right. It's an eighties action movie and it's, fucking incredible it's so good it's just like it's it's not mindless chaos it's like great narrative chaos for like an hour and 45 minutes or something like that to the point where it's like absolutely every scene is fantastic because it's either hilarious or action-packed like absolute nuttiness they have a (laughs) they have a, a drug deal goes down at the start of the film and there's like um, uh, 10, 15 cops all hiding out in this like sort of like Chinese favela type place. So like, um, I'm a, you guys, I don't know if you know what a favela is, but for the people yeah. out there that don't, it's basically um, a chunk of uh, people will go out and just basically build their own little town. So these favelas are all made out of like wood and rope and, 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 and like tin uh, plates and stuff like that. And they've all got their own little shops and things. It's so quite like Kowloon City for anybody who knows what that is. But, um, but yeah, so this place is quite a small on the side of this hill. And uh, this, this drug deal goes south. The police get spotted. So everything goes like crazy. And like Jackie Chan and his mates are all... <laughs> Fucking guns are going off everywhere, and uh, like uh, uh, he's just like kicking people with both feet and then pushing himself off the ground and shit, doing all this absolutely nutty stuff. And it goes, it keeps going up and up and up. And I'm like, holy fuck, when does this stop? I'm like 20 <laughs> minutes in, and it's just constantly getting better and better and better to the point where. The bad guys are trying to escape. Jackie Chan needs to catch up with them as fast as he can. So he jumps in his car and just drives through the favela. <laughs> <laughs> and the, 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 the bad guy's car is just in front of them. And the two of them are just going down this hill, destroying this entire fucking town. It is incredible. So they get to the bottom. Both cars are completely fucked. All the people get out and go, like, start running. Like, they, they, they're... There's better, they're, they use these trucks to block the two roads that come out of this town, but then the police on one of the trucks runs up the hill. They're meant to be holding their position, but they can't, uh, They they or they can, but they want to go and save, uh, help the other police because they, they can hear gunfire going off. So that place is now no longer defended, and that's how the, these, this drug kingpin and his, his, and his, uh, his goons, like, they manage to get through. So they get down to their car, they start driving off. Jackie Chan manages to like catch up with the car and like fucking take out the driver or however he does sort of thing. I think I genuinely think he like grabs hold of the roof and like kicks through and takes out both of them like in the Spider-Man game. The Spider-Man like swings yeah. through and takes out both people in the car at the same time. He, gen- he does some crazy shit like that. Um, and then, yeah, uh, like, so they end up having to hijack a bus and then Jackie Chan's chasing after. He's like, how the fuck do I get on that bus? Takes an umbrella runs up, gets onto the bus and then climbs the bus with the umbrella and then the bus is like, they're putting their foot down and like really trying to get away as fast as they can and Jackie Chan, no cables no net, nothing, is genuinely hanging off the side of a bus by a fucking umbrella, <laughs> umbrella. And, like his, and, his, and his feet are like going onto these like taxis and stuff that this like bus is overtaking um, and then uh, the, uh, the Jackie Chan, this is all just the intro to the film by the way, it's like the first 20 minutes, it's incredible so then uh, Jackie Chan manages to like he gets onto the bus but briefly but then they manage to get him back off again or, or like uh or like he's climbing in the window and then they sort of like they kick him back out again and uh uh like so he, he does a little tumble and a roll and everything and then he sees like they're going round and down this hillside so he just sl- slides down the hillside and manages to get in front of the bus um he manages to like stop this pedestrian car he's he's got his gun out and he, he looks in there and he's like empty on his bullets uh, so he gets like you know those little speed reloader things you can put all six bullets yeah, yeah. in your revolver at the same time nice. so he's like standing he's eyeballing the bus as it's coming towards and the king, kingpin's like run him over run him over he's got like the his gun at the bus driver's head sort of thing so the guy's really properly putting his foot down and jackie's standing there he just goes <laughs> <laughs> like a proper like yeah, rolls the revolver revolver. stands there like ready to shoot uh and then i can't how does he manages to stop the bus somehow without having to like shoot the driver or anything i think he um or no he shoots the gun what in a moving bus coming towards me shoots the gun out of the the, the drug guy's hand so that the bus driver can slam the brakes on because he's not have got the gun pointing at him anymore so he goes Ba-ding! 
fucking like shoots the gun out of the the the, the this, this this thug's hand. The fucking bus driver slams the brakes on, and Jackie Chan oh, just stands God. there with his arms crossed, and the bus stops maybe <laughs> two foot away from him. A, a real bus, none of this is CG. Stop, stops like two foot away from him, and all of the 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 thugs at the front of the bus upstairs and the thugs at the uh, front downstairs all just shoot out of the window onto the floor in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so like Jack, so Jackie good. Chan has always Honestly, gone kind of like ab- above and beyond with, with oh mate, it's um, one of the best action, action. films I think I've ever seen. Uh, I'm gonna have so to watch good. that. I, I didn't realise there was a, a do, Jackie man. Chan film I I hadn't watched. <laughs> Yeah, oh, there's a lot. He's done a, he's done a lot. Of, he's done a, he, did a, he had a whole career in Hong Kong before he came over and did Rush Hour and the American movies and stuff. Mm. So like, and, and he directed a lot of them as well. So the action and choreography and like stunts, that's just all of it. It's just, it's just unbelievable. And it's all practical as well. Mm. So when the credits rolled on the film, they show how they did all of this shit. And you're sitting there like this is this is insane. Like yeah. people could have easily been killed doing what they're doing. They're just they're so they're so good at it. But yeah, um, so I'm, I'm going to watch, watch Police Story did you rent two it tonight. Uh, Prime, I is think. It Prime. Oh, right. I'm, I'm yeah, like, Prime. I might give that a go tonight. To be fair, that's mm. like, that does sound pretty yeah. sick. Yeah. Very, very worth it. Oh, I got excited just talking about that. Then the last <laughs> I night, tell. I, I, I was tell. like, "This is well, this, like," yeah. uh, and it's really just funny what as well. Police Story Three is going to be. Yeah, I know. God. Tell me about it. They just get like <laughs> I've still got online. two to do as well. <laughs> yeah. I looked online and all of them are like a ninety percent or so rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Like the, there's like five of them. The last two are a little bit less, but the 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 first three, all of them are like ninety something percent. I'm like Jesus Christ. These are these are incredible. Um, the story is very simple. One of the um, one of the inspectors' names is Man. So, like, the people, they keep walking into the room and going, Inspector Man! Man. <laughs> like, all the time. Man. It's really fucking funny. It's so uh, fucking funny. But, well, yeah, it's just, like... Mm, go on. You know, I was going to say, going back to uh, the, the, well, the reason for you watching... Um, what's it? I forgot what it's called Police now. Story. You literally Police said it like a yeah. million times. No, no, it's cool. Um, like, Tarantino obviously was, was asked what scene he'd put in a time capsule. Right. Mm. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What would your scene so, be? I was gonna say. Yeah. What? What would? Uh, uh, like each oh. Okay. Uh, be. Oh, I don't know. Because <sighs> I can I can I... think of at least like fifty Shit. that I would. I would uh, probably see, put in. I because I, I this question's been on the back of my mind for a little while. I would definitely <laughs> say um, the the intercut sequence of the three separate dreams in Inception when the van's going over the side. And uh, they're trying to launch the explosives in the lift to re- recreate gravity in the hotel. And then the, the avalanche and everything. And they're trying to complete the last bit of the job in Inception. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that, okay. to yeah. me, See, this is, is so absolute I, art I of was, like, I was editing and filmmaking. the rotating hallway from Inception. Mm. Yeah, see, that would have that, been I think one that of my is choices, in. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd have to watch back and see exactly when the perfect point would be. But if there is a point where it is intercutting all three in very fast sequence, and the rotating hallway is part of it, because I think he's fighting a guy in the bedroom, and the bedroom is also a rotating yeah, room as yeah. well. Yeah. At one point, so yeah. that 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 could really work. That would be oh, that would be so yeah yeah yeah. yeah that's that's my um, pick. Well, that, that'd be but awesome. I think also the intro to mm. Snatch. The intro to Snatch is cool, but Snatch. it's very jarring. It's quite, it's very uh, independent I was, filmmaking. I was, I was going to yeah, say, yeah, I just love it. I just think it's, yeah, it's definitely it one of my good, favorite though. intros. Mm. The way what when they're following them through the CCTV through the, cameras, yeah, through the, the camera credits screens. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is a great intro. What about you, Yates? What are you saying? Oh fuck! One of them was going to be the intro to like <laughs> The Dark Knight. Just that whole heist intro, just because I, I love it a lot. Yeah, it's oh, quite far away from your mic, mate. The, the, the heist intro to um uh, the Dark Knight, you know. Yeah. Joker. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, yeah, that's uh, it, yeah, be I'm not one. wearing hockey pants. Music. All that shit. You know. <laughs> uh, wait, no, what? no, no, no. The Dark Knight. No, 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 no. The Dark Knight, not the Dark Knight the... Rises. That's the one with Bane. I'm talking about the one with Heath Ledger, Joker, where they do the heist of the. Bank yeah, that's the, the, intro. That's the school bus. You're, think, you're, you're thinking of it's um, the same the film, plane, but it's, the that's one. Batman's intro afterwards. So there's Joker's intro, and then afterwards it's like uh, oh, what in the parking lot with um, it's the, in the Scarecrow. parking lot. That's that. Sorry, I'm thinking of Batman's intro in Dark Knight. You're, you're, yeah, Joker's intro is great. Yeah, yeah you're right. Like, yeah, well, they have that's to, actually quite nothing. interesting. You made me think about that because they intro Joker before they intro Batman. Like it's Joker's film, and Batman's part of it. 
yeah, like that. yeah, they do villain like first, don't they? Yeah, that's yeah, cool. That's quite, yeah, it's quite yeah. clever actually. Never thought of it in that way. It's another mm. film I was going to say. I'm literally I looking at my DVDs remember. in front of me, thinking, "What?" <laughs> um, <laughs> or you know what? Actually, <laughs> so seeing the parasite things. poster behind me on my wall when the the peach fuzz, and then the the the, the uh, tomato sauce in the napkin in the bin to show that she's got tuberculosis in 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 uh, in parasite. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's uh, that is such a good scene, it's, especially because like the dad is like very gradually shopping and looking bored as fuck the entire day preparing for the the kids birthday party barbecue with the mum of the house like the entire like the, he's at his entire day um and then as soon as they get home and he sees that the nurse is not nurse the the the, the, the yeah, house the housekeeper that's it yeah um yeah as soon as the housekeeper uh, coughs a little bit he just boom, 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 picks up the yeah, pace and, and the I, camera just instantly <clears throat> tracks him and everything changes in like a second. You're just like, what? Oh, it just sits you in the back of your yeah. seat, man. Yeah. yeah. That was, that was, that was incredible, the tension. I've just, I've just mm-hmm. seen on my, on my shelf, you could put not even just one scene from it, you could just put the whole SpongeBob SquarePants movie in there. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, one particular scene just, when <laughs> when Hasselhoff's chest comes apart and then shoots SpongeBob. <laughs> yes, yeah. No, just chuck that in a time capsule. <laughs> Throw that in a time capsule. <laughs> if that is the last thing on earth that survived to show people the SpongeBob movie, I think the oh, Simpsons oh, movie. Right Do you like the Simpsons movie? Uh, yeah, Simpsons movie. Yeah, it's fucking incredible film. I love. I wish they did more. Uh, yeah, but, but not, same not now. Simpsons now is not funny. No, it's just, it's yeah, just shit. Man. That's that's a quality film. Mm-hmm. Um, when they, when Bart is skating, Shrek two, and they Shrek two, the entirety of Shrek two. Oh, what Sorry. is it with you with fucking animated films? Every <laughs> every podcast we go into. I like. I like I'm Shrek, surprised. Man. I'm surprised he hasn't the said Incredibles. Frozo. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Just what I was about to say. He also hasn't mentioned his favourite uh, trilogy. No, no, <laughs> no. Uh, not do that. What other good scenes? Oh, I. Oh, 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 oh. Here we oh, go. Oh, 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 the, this end, good. the the intro to Baby Driver. Oh, all right. Well, I wouldn't even say the intro. I'd say the second or scene of the, um, the, the act with Baby the... Driver walking down the street. Right, to, down the uh, Harlem Shuffle. Yeah, that's, oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the fact Shuffle that when he goes yeah. back the other way, the lyrics yeah. still fit. I always thought that was clever. Yeah, that was good. I like that. Yeah. Or at the end when uh, I can't remember his name, which like, "What did you do, baby? What did you do?" Oh, uh, John oh, and um, John, John Ham, and then literally, mm-hmm. and then it's like, "Dum dum dum," and it's that fight scene where he she dies. Dum, you know. Dum. Yeah, that's so yeah, good. Like, that yeah, was, yeah, that was really good. Oh, and him mate. sprinting through the park. I'll kill you, got, baby. Ansel Elgott has got the longest legs in the business from that that running through the park because he does the the <laughs> yeah. bench run when he runs oh, across yeah. each yeah, bench or wherever it is. He's just got yeah. the fucking oh. longest legs you've and ever seen. And the police are all chasing after him, and the quick swish pans. Yeah. And you see like police running, and then mm-hmm. oh, it's just fucking. Oh, okay. You say swish pans, right? I'm glad you said that. In La La Land, when um, uh, Ryan Gosling and... Have you seen it? When they're in the bar. When they're in the bar. And it's the... He's and playing she's like, piano and she's dancing. And he dancing, flips. And, and then it flicks back to him. Yeah. And he's like playing the thing. There's, yeah, that's back, so cool. There's backstage that. footage of that, of the guy doing mm, it. And tapping he gets him on the shoulder. on the shoulder. On, yeah. And he's meant to switch. <laughs> I love it. it. Mm, oh, I love that so sort of good. stuff. Oh mate, there's so many scenes you could put in the time. There's actually. great scenes. I'm glad we're doing this. I'm glad no, that I'm thank you to the Hollywood so Reporter. Many. <laughs> think there's so many now. Um, oh, what about oh, the man. um the the uh running on the beach scene from Dunkirk? When they get off Oh the, with the bombs coming down and he has yeah. to like lay down the ground. Yeah. yeah. See the that's great and, because uh, of the, mm. Yeah. That's what I love about that scene so much is it complements shooting on IMAX um uh super um, 120 millimeter film. Super stock. duper, like the, the <laughs> super just, duper oh, filming. Because you couldn't, you couldn't ever see that far back on anything other than IMAX thingy. Mm. You can see every guy laying down, every bomb coming down, everything, and also the lead character completely in frame, in focus, and then and the, like comes down and the bomb stop and all the sands falling down on his head and everything, and you re- you just feel there yeah. with him like yeah. that sounds. Is, yeah. that well, it's is, a bit that like it's, it's that um, it's it's like that that iconic long shot from another war film, nineteen seventeen, 
at the end when he's mm. running across the uh, yeah, 1917, like no not 1918. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah Sorry, I, I said 1918 <laughs> earlier, and I was just like, and then you said, yeah, that yeah. that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, what, yeah, that that, that like mega long shot of him running. When, and when he actually runs in into coming, the, yeah, like, out, the fact that the, the actual tech he uses where he ran into, he was just yeah, like, he because they they were running opposite directions, so it was just like literally just you're just gonna have to run through him. You just have to keep running. Oh yeah, and yeah, and those those hits that they they're all real. They're all people actually just colliding. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. generally people yeah, just, just get up hit. and just keep going, and it's like fucking hell. Imagine those extras getting whacked by the main. Well, what's funny is like, out. yeah, on, a, on an off take when they'd send in like I don't know, so, like two of them properly clatter together, and yeah, they send in like, the medical team. You, right, you know, lads? you're the extra because the medical team will go for the fucking lead character yeah. <laughs> to pick him up first. <laughs> Could you imagine um, get, getting home at the end of that day, and your wife turns around to you, it's like, oh, how was the shoot today, dear? It's like, I got Aww. smacked by the main character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. Best I got day my of my life. Fifteen seconds of fame, and then it's just like because you know that uh, Ryan John, not Ryan Johnson. Um, oh, what's the fucking director's name? Uh, fucking Mendez. Uh, Sam Mendez. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, Sam Mendez chooses that like scene. It's like I got my fifteen seconds of fame. Oh, what was it? I just fucking planked someone on the battlefield. <laughs> 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 oh, beautiful oh, word, babe. Dude. Oh man, gonna, there yeah, could be so many good fun. scenes as well. Maybe like um, uh, one of the highlights of Pulp Fiction when uh, you realise that um, the uh, Bruce, Bruce Willis's character is actually in the house at the same time as um, what's his face's character? Um, not Vince. It, his name is Vince in the in the yeah. film. Yeah, um, um, John Travolta. Travolta, oh, yeah, yeah. When you what's like that's been? because it's so non-linear that film that when two scenes finally match up. And it is. Yeah, it just clicks in your brain. Tra- Travolta right. and the thing. You're like, oh shit, he's there. Moments before the bathroom door gets open and what's his face and shoots him with the Uzi. Yeah. It's just, ah, oh, that's so oh, good. So, well, no, to so be good. fair, I mean, Yates mentioned a minute ago that, like, uh, the dancing, Jules. John Travolta dancing. Sorry. You could take yeah, that's a good... ev- you could take every <laughs> dance scene from every film. Yeah, Leonardo like, DiCaprio Compile them dancing. together. And for all of Tarantino's mm-hmm. dancing, just compilations yeah compilations of, of that. dancing uh, just yeah, Leonardo yeah, DiCaprio yeah, dancing mm. just... Leonardo DiCaprio cutting his hand open or, or just, or just, uh, just put Django. Leonardo DiCaprio yeah, yeah, in, in a time in capsule mm. yeah oh that yeah. entire in fact alright the entire intro to The Revenant because it's all one it's one shot like from basically the start when they're all having the battle on the yeah. like by the river with the like the Idaho's and they're all like shooting their bows and arrows and stuff like that and it's shot in like a really <laughs> <laughs> it's shot a really wide lens and they're all just like they're proper dirty and grotty and it's just you could just uh properly throws you into the film just immediately I still haven't seen the revenant have you not oh, it's no. so good man definitely watch it watch it couldn't bit. couldn't preach that enough and the director has adhd so i got mad props from doing that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's oh, cool mate. i could just i could literally think of scenes all day long mm-hmm. yeah let us know your scenes in the comments below if you have any good ones, suggestions, and yes, maybe if yeah, people Chuck actually do that. Let's uh... do Trappers Champs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, should we do a round if, of if Trappers ready. Champs? I mean, I've, well, yeah. I've not got a new game prepared, so we'll have to do an oh. old one. Well, have you got the um, you got the spinny wheel with the names from before? And, Let's uh... play Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 Let's play Wheel of Marble Axes. Let's, spin, axis. let's <laughs> play Spin. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, don't you dare give the wheel. McGregor again. Uh, I don't know what game I couldn't play. believe what, that what, last what time. What have you got in store for us today? So, uh, we've done <coughs> holes a couple of times, haven't we? So, we'll, we'll leave that. What, what, what was the one? What, what did you call last week's one? Because you gave it quite a good name. I say last week, it was about three weeks ago now. It was about three weeks ago. What was the, what was the last one? Oh, who fucking knows? I, can't, I cannot remember. You gave it a good oh name. God. Oh, God. Uh, oh, we've got Celebrity Counterpoint. We've done that. that. That was the first game we've done, and we've not played that Is again. that the... Uh, yeah, go on. I can't remember which one that is. Celebrity Counterpoint. Yeah, so that's, that's the one where, uh, <laughs> where you, just, you have to keep the actors going. So it's, I give you an actor, and then you have to give me a oh, co-starring actor. Oh, mm. Can we start with senior. Jackie Chan? What's that? <laughs> Can we start with Jackie Chan? Oh, fuck. I don't uh, know. Police Anybody Story 1, 2, and 3. Jackie Chan films. Pulley Yates. Oh, come on. You must have done... Uh, what probably, about Rush Hour? Oh, right. well, I'll tell you what, I'll, we'll, we'll start with Jackie Chan and... Oh, fuck. R- <laughs> <Ryan's got> <laughs> what? He just said, I haven't watched a lot of Jackie Chan films. 
<laughs> no, but if you give him another actor, then... He... Oh, oh, of course, because oh, it's course. like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, it's, Jackie yeah, it's Chan and the then... Film, it's just the actor. Who, what, who the... F- what, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 right. What's... I can't remember the name of that black guy that he works with in Rush Hour movies, so, like... Well, who else has Jackie Chan really worked with? I don't fucking know. Who's Jackie... Who's Jackie Chan? He did the... He's <laughs> <laughs> the karate dude. <clears throat> um, uh, I don't know. How, uh, couldn't tell you, mate. Couldn't tell you one person I know that he's been in a film with. He's done a film with... Um... I... I can see his face. Mm. What's the? What's the? You can see his face. That's good. I tell you what. Long one problem I have with that police story last night. My 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 internet isn't great around here because there's like four of us on the same thing and it's student Wi-Fi. Um, and the internet in Canterbury is also not that great anyway. But um, yeah, uh, the the pixel the, like the pixel ratio kept going in and out. So sometimes like it looked fine, then sometimes it was like proper Minecrafty. And I don't want to be racist, but when you're trying to follow a lot of Asian faces. And suddenly you can't really tell what they are or who they are. Oh, Everything just becomes complete chaos. Like I got to a point where I was like, I've got to wait for this to load. Like I've got no fucking idea. I don't even know which one Jackie Chan is at this point. <laughs> like it was completely <laughs> mental. Pixelated mess. Uh, yeah. So not to be racist, but uh, all um, Asian people look the same. <laughs> what was the cowboy film that Ryan. Jackie Chan done? <laughs> Ryan. Uh, I wanted to get some sort of reaction out of you. I was just being quiet. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him just spur away. Shanghai Noon. Have you ever seen Shanghai oh. Noon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Shanghai Jackson Noon cow- cowboy film with yeah. um, um, Owen, Owen Wilson. Wilson. There we go. Owen yeah. Wilson, who was was the one I was thinking. Owen of. Wilson starred alongside Jackie Chan. Yeah, in a, yeah. In a West Shanghai Noon, baby. Yeah. Right, anyway, right, should I spin the wheel and we'll go do... Go on then, spin the wheel. Yeah. Alright, so, oh, I've not even introduced <laughs> it, so... Um... Oh yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> so, we've got the music. Welcome to Chappers what Champs. What fuck? <laughs> I'm going to call that out. Okay. I know you are, <laughs> but you never needed to do that before. And then suddenly yeah, it's right. like, and pause, we have the intro music. <laughs> Welcome to Chappers Champs. It was, for, it was for my own benefit. <laughs> So we're going to play Celebrity Counterpoint. And, uh, Yay! Let's go with... Yeah, seem a little bit more excited. Oh, it makes a noise. Woo! It makes a noise. Look at that. Oh. Drum roll, please. And the first... Oh. Yeah, oh I, didn't know, I didn't know we'd done that. <laughs> who did that? <laughs> Your first actor... I don't know who started. Who's doing the first that actor? would have been perfect after you said the actor's name. Who is it? If you'd said who it and then randomly it just played that noise, <laughs> that would have been fucking brilliant. Um, so the first actor is Dustin Hoffman. Who wants to take oh. this round? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start, because Jace's okay. face means I'm probably going to so win. So, Ryan, you need, to, you need to give me an actor that uh, Dustin Hoffman has worked alongside. Uh, oh, you know what, Yates? I'll go... I'll give you an easy one, baby. Tom Cruise in Rain Man. Oh, that's too easy. Yeah. Do, oh, do I? Oh, oh so okay. now you got to link someone with Tom Cruise. Who, who goes? Uh, yeah. Simon Pegg in uh, Mission Impossible. <laughs> 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 this is going to be another one of those easier. rounds, isn't it? Right. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Nick Frost. <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, in what, Ryan? What, what did what um, did they do together? Yeah. Uh, remind me. B- Paul. <laughs> 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 Yeah, is that the one about the insects? That's, that's definitely one of them. Yeah. That's the yeah, one with zombies that in it. That shitty ghost hunting yeah. fucking TV show they did. Paul of the oh, Dead. Paul of the Dead. Paul of the Dead. Paul of the Dead. Yeah, brilliant. A rip-off oh. of a rip-off of Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, yeah, it's what you saying. Nick Frost. Uh, to be fair, I've cucked you a little bit here. Martin Freeman. Nice. Nice, yeah. Right. I feel like this is exactly the route we went down when we did this before. I'm pretty sure this is very, <laughs> this is very yeah. similar Because I remember before. thinking, right, what are the names of any of the people in the Hobbit movie? Uh, you got Ian McKellen. Ooh, old yeah. McKellen. Grandalf Ooh. the Grey. Uh, Gandalf okay. the Gay, more like. Because <laughs> he's gay. <laughs> uh, have Ian McKellen and um, Patrick Stewart acted oh, alongside well, one another? Patrick Stewart. Have Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart act, acted alongside each other? Are you being serious? Yeah, but I haven't seen those films, have I? 
Oh, yeah. don't get me back well, on the fucking X Men yeah. franchise. Don't uh, get me started on that it's fucking edge, isn't it? Sex Men. Sex Men. He's, he, he, he's the Sex Men. Sex Men. <laughs> they are both gay. So. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, wait, no, Patrick Stewart isn't. I don't think. Is but he? he's got a very camp. Patrick Stewart isn't gay. I don't think. No, no uh, I, just, I just find he's very, you know, very elegant. Yeah. Have you seen nice... that interview where he talks about the fact that his doctor prescribed him weed? for his yeah. back or something and then he goes and sits and watches like all of the Hobbit movies like I was enjoying my friend in the Hobbit very much smoking on a doobie <laughs> fucking brilliant I love them uh, both okay you got, uh, you yeah, got so old, that X-Men uh, old Pat Patrick Pat. Stewart alright uh, well I'll take um, huge Jackman then. I thought you'd say that nice um, <laughs> huge Jackman Hugh Jackman uh, in Logan obviously oh this could go Many different ways. I've thought of yeah. Yeah, I've thought I'm of thinking. Loads of... See, for some reason, like I've seen Ryan Reynolds. For... Ryan Reynolds. Okay, for some reason, I went for Nicole Kidman in Australia. See, I was, I was going to go Zendaya. <laughs> Zendaya. Zendaya. Yeah. Oh, Greatest oh, showman. um, Great Showman. Of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I've so sorry, it. you said um, who? Yeah, it's Reynolds. Uh, Reynolds. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh God, I don't want to. I could very easily go for his counterpart in Hitman's Bodyguard, yeah. but then we're falling into Marvel territory. That's very true. Yeah. Um, uh, not necessarily. Well, right, Sam, Sam Jackson. Oh, I should have said Selma Hayek. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now who are we going to go for? Um... Go on. Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Who did I say? Who is... Wait, he's... You said Samuel Jackson. Sam ja- uh... Natalie Portman. And what? In, in what? Star Wars A Phantom Menace. Oh, of oh, course, yeah. <laughs> How do we never see this coming, chap? How do we never <laughs> see I, this I, I was going to go for Hayden thing, Christensen. Right, you mentioned yeah, Sam probably. Jackson, and then you can go into any franchise ever yeah, made. Yeah, you can. He's You've got all the everything. Tarantinos, all the fucking Star Wars, all the Marvel. Man's doing well. He probably he must be he one is. of the wealthiest actors. Most likely. I'm going to see what his net worth is whilst you're thinking of the yeah, next yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, do it. looking as well. He's looking dapper, like, all the time. So you've got Natalie Portman. All yeah. right, well, now I am going to go into Marvel territory because, I, like, I can't... I don't know who else she thinks... Jesus Black Christ. Swan. What's his net worth? Oh, go on. Samuel Jackson's net worth is $250 million. That's not as much as I was expecting, to be fair. That is a hell of a lot of money. Yeah. But that, well, for, that's, no, well, that's not as much actresses, as I was expecting. I mean, if we look at like someone else, someone a little bit... Look at I feel like Dwayne Junior. Johnson's probably like 500 million. Or so. uh, yeah, and RDJ is probably like 700 million. To be him, fair, yeah. What's, what's RDJ saying? Some of these actors are going to be in the billions. Are gonna, yeah, no, R- like RDJ's 300 million. Oh, so that's not too much more. That's fair enough. Yeah. But I so feel like Samuel right. Jackson definitely deserves more than fucking RDJ. Mm. Yeah, but then again, some of these... He's, but RDJ like, is uh, Iron Man. <laughs> he is Iron Man. He is, that, and that has done him some big bits over some the last big few years. Some big favours. Some yeah. big, big business fucking briefcase boy favours. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, okay, wait, where are we at? Right. Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. Uh, I'll say uh, Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth, Thor. Go on. This is now we're falling okay. into extremely oh, easy God, categories. Oh, it'll be here a while. This is still the first right. round. Now a, this is a this is I'm a speed round. Of... Right, three, two, one, go. I need to think of something that's not Chris Hemsworth Marvel. Well, no, right? I mean if we do if we stuck in Marvel, then we might as well just do a fucking speed round. Just got to do it. Oh, same just go possible. through Marvel. As yeah, as yeah as just fucking go as fast okay. as you can. Go then. Oh, uh, um, Josh Brolin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom Holland. Huh? Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, RDJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking um. Uh, oh shit! What's his fucking name? Plays Hulk. Um, oh, it's such a shit actor. Oh, I know. What's his well. name? Uh, uh, don't uh, tell it. Don't tell me. Now I've lost. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Mark, no, we just get, get all the marbles out. Go. Uh, uh, fucking um um. Wait, no, that's... Uh, now I can't think of any of them. Now we're just going to be doing Marvel ones. Now we're just trying to list Marvel ones. Brilliant. Try, right, I'm Mark Ruffalo. No, maybe yeah, I can brilliant. go from that to something else, actually. Yeah. Um, no, I know Fox Catcher. Would, would work. Mark Ruffalo. What was he in the other... D- oh, I watched a film the other day with a minute. Is it Fox Catcher? About huh? wrestling. American wrestling. Wrestling? What the fuck are you about? What the fuck is Chappers doing? I don't know. Abracadabra. <laughs> What? Oh fuck! I know exactly. Is yeah. that a film? Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> there we go. Here we Wait, go. was he in? Is this the Greatest Showman you're talking about? Abracadabra! <laughs> <No. laughs> Abracadabra! <laughs> oh, the thing with what's his name? Is it a? 
Nolan film. I'll give you. No, I'll give you a hint. No. What am I thinking of? Adam, what's, what's what are you talking about? Oh, now I... you see me. <laughs> <laughs> now you see me. Is that literally the film you're talking about? That's the film, yeah. Is Mark he for anybody he that's... Uh, he nobody has the visual people. on the podcast. No, I just disappeared yeah. off webcam and came back just to say, now you see me, the chat. Oh, so ooh, that's why Jesse Eisenberg. Like <laughs> Jesse, okay, yeah, yeah all right, okay, Jesse yeah, Eisenberg. Um, I would have Harrison, but... Now our dicks are swinging into uh, DC because uh, I'll take Batfleck. Batfleck. Oh, Batfleck. Batfleck. Old Batfleck. Oh, old take. baby boy Batfleck. Oh, baby my boy God. business Batfleck. What business briefcase name? boy Batfleck. Henry Cavill. <laughs> ah, Mr. Cavill. Yeah. Uh, well, we've gone full circle because Henry Cavill was with Tom Cruise. So there we go. No, I can't get um, that one. No, I'm okay. Right. Well, give the eights the point because we're never going to finish. This is never going to end. We need a time limit between each one. What you need is we need I like think a 10 so. seconds. You need I think that's what happened last time. Yeah, we've sort of just jumped straight into this without. But hey. Really There's no about system. It's all no, that broken. That's fucking funny, though. It's all broken. Well, to be fair, it's I mean, all you, broken. you've both done extremely better than the first time we played this because extremely, extremely better. better. <laughs> 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 yeah, they don't sound right. Do Good English. You've both done extremely better I, this time. I, I better, learned really. the much English much from a book. Mm. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Would you believe? Not many all, name. All of that started Danny, with Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman. Who oh, the yeah. fuck is Dustin Hoffman? I still don't know. <laughs> he was in Rain Man. The guy ate Rain uh, Man. Mr. McGorry's Wonder Emporium. Fuck off. I hate that you bring oh, that yeah. film up. Like, well, this is a film podcast. With I wish the, that film didn't come the, up anywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, sweaty yeah, little yeah, kid yeah, with yeah, the hats. Yeah, 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 but he's yeah, the yeah. only, the most one dimensional character I've ever seen. Oh, the funny. only thing about his character that's interesting is his hats change he's, every time. <laughs> he wears hats. Fucking awful writing. Fucking awful. Oh, I had a look online the other day, actually, at... Um, or So I was just having a, a schmooze through different actors and, and films and things like that on Google, and I found... Did you guys ever see the Pluto Nash film? No. The what? No. Does, it, does it ring any bells? No. Right. What's it so called? It's in, it, Pluto Nash. Pluto, Pluto Nash. Nash. Pluto Nash, yeah. So you're about to have a Google. You're about to find the yeah. worst Rotten Tomatoes rating I have ever fucking seen. <laughs> Oh, the it's adventures so of Pluto bad. Nash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but apparently, I've never seen it. It got four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. People on the on the on the three point eight out of ten on IMDb. Yeah, but that's like no, that's three point eight out of ten. Rotten Tomatoes is four out of a hundred. Oh yeah, four <laughs> percent. <laughs> <laughs> it is so fucking bad, and all the all the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes basically say like um, this film uh, doesn't even have, have anything that you can forget. It's so empty, like the film can't even be forgettable because you don't realise you've watched it to start off with. <laughs> like there's just there's just nothing to it. Supposedly a bunch of studio execs thought sticking Eddie Murphy on the moon and making a sci-fi film with a like ridiculous budget would would. Like do them some favors. Apparently, the budget for it was one hundred and seventy million dollars, <laughs> and it made something like four point one million dollars. No, no, I've I've got it it's here. Like the biggest Bud- budget was one hundred and thirty million. One hundred and thirty. That's it. And yeah. it made seven point one million back. That is fucking atrocious. Fuck, man. That is the biggest not box even, office flop yeah, ever. Not even half of what they they spent on it. I'm gonna have a look that's at rough. box office flops. Fuck, you know. Are we doing another another chap champ? Uh, we could do one more round, yeah. Okay, come on then. Come on in. Oh, who won that one? Who am I saying won that one? Yates? Yeah, fuck it. Give it to Yates. The biggest Thanks, box man. office bombs. Yeah, Yates needs a win this week. He's fallen behind. Yay! Yay! Right. Are you ready for your nut? Your ne- Can't I give it words out? Are you ready for your next actor? I'm ready. Actor. Yeah, let's do it. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, it's your little squirrely wheel thing. I thought that was my chair creaking. Why? <laughs> that noise is so shit. I'm spinning that again. We're not, we're not who'd doing we get? Who'd we get? No, we're not doing that one. But who was it? You don't want to know. Aiden Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Caine. <clears throat> oh. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. Okay, we have to be uh, quicker this time, though. Go on, chat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I'll tell you what, I'm going to get a little stopwatch up. Okay. Um, all right, we have was 10 it seconds like, on each one. Is that all right? Yeah, 10 seconds is good. Yeah, I like that. Ten seconds. All right. Well, I've got mine ready. Shall I just go now? Are you ready, Travis? Yeah. Go on then. Morgan Freeman. Nice. All right. Christian Bale. Nice. Um. Kate 
thingy. What's her name? Oh my god. Okay, think of someone else. What's the same? What's the time? Uh, chat? Uh, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Nice. Kate. Yeah. Tom Hardy. <laughs> Kate. I Tom Hardy. Did. I just changed my plan. Uh, Tom Hardy. Um. Uh. Oh fuck. Uh. Tom Hardy played with himself in. Oh fuck uh, off! No, you're, <laughs> not, you're not allowed that. <laughs> That's right, your um, time. Fuck! Oh, straight away. That fucked me straight away. I was trying to think of the fucking actor. Um, uh, th- he's, like the, he's like the captain guy in, in Dunkirk, who also plays... Um, oh, yeah. Oh, fucking... What is his fucking name? No. That's annoying. I know yeah, exactly I know. He's, about. he's Very also the guy in, in, in Tenet as well. Yep, the bad guy in Tenet. Oh... Oh, Kenneth with. Kenneth Branagh. Or Kenneth something. Branagh, that's it. Yeah, that's Kenneth Branagh, Branagh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker. Oh man. <laughs> I like that Michael Caine took us down an only Nolan route. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. As if he's not done anything um, else apart from Nolan films. Well, that was a quick one. Do you another one? Uh, yeah, go, yeah, go on. Just oh, God, decide. That fucked me. Right, so. Oh. so yeah, whatever. People are deciding to turn off for about now. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Matt Damon. Oh okay. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, he's uh, wait, who's starting? He normally this one? does a lot of standalone stuff, doesn't he? Oh, you know what? Actually, um, uh, Josh Brolin, because he is a little mini part actor in cameo. Deadpool Two. Yeah, he plays a cameo in Deadpool Two. He's like the one of the fucking oh, farmer guys, whatever he is. Yeah. Mm. Um, right, go on the Yates. What did you wait? What did you say? Sorry, Josh Brolin. Josh, uh, Josh Brolin. Oh, I Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's so deflating. Go on, then, Ryan. Um, oh, her name is uh, the girl who plays Domino. Her name's like ZZ something. Um, oh, I can't think. Uh, no, fuck that. I'll allow it. Oh, oh I'll um, allow it. Well, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'd allow. Is that your timer it's, going it's... already? Yeah, the time, uh, okay. the Did, was up. Domino in the first Deadpool film? No, no the second not, one. It was ZZ second. Beats. Oh, fuck. ZZ Beats, that's it. Yeah, because I was going. I was going to say. Uh, Ed I'm trying to take more difficult choices so that we don't just keep fucking. Oh, I could have said Mark Strong. He's like the bag. He plays Sinestro in uh, Green Lantern. Yeah. I like oh, Mark yeah, Strong. Of course he's he a fucking sick actor. Yeah, yeah. Mark Strong's yeah. He, he, Mark Strong is actually a really. He's has also a really annoying starred career, in my Tom opinion. Hardy. Yeah, because he's had he's done some fantastic films. What was he? Oh yeah, he was in. He was in um, Kingsman. Uh, Tom Hardy's not in Kingsman. You mean legend? No, no. Who's in? Is is he is in the Taren, second Taren, one? Taron Taron Egerton is in. Tom Hardy's not in Kingsman. He's in the second no. one, isn't he? Is he? No. I don't remember him. No, 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 no. Oh, You're thinking, thinking of, of like, Channing else? Channing Tatum plays the American guy, the cowboy dude. Yeah, who's that? Yeah, that's a mad. That's Pedro, Pedro Pascal. Yeah, because they they outsource. No, no, not guys. Because no. oh, they're Channing Tatum. That's what I'm up. thinking of. Yeah, Channing Tatum. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I got confused then. Yeah. It, it would have been Tom good Hardy, if it was Tom Hardy, though. Holy shit. <clears throat> good win. <laughs> right, well, uh, I've no idea who fucking won or lost that one. I think we'll we'll get into the rigmarole of doing yeah. this again. Uh, yeah, yeah. I need, to come out, I need to make a new game, don't I? I'll, I'll mm. think of a new game. Nice. And I need to yeah. go and get... I mean, for this week, I mean, Yates has won two rounds, so I'm going to give the points to Yates this week. Yay! Hooray! You're, you're both neck and neck now with the games. Neck and neck? Oh, did I win three weeks? What did we even... Did we do a Chaps Champ like when I was at Yates? Uh, yes, <laughs> possibly. Potentially, because I think you said I last that, time we were neck. Yeah, no, we just constantly knows? being neck and neck. No matter who was wins. The last one. Oh, that was it. What have you done? Ah, <laughs> huh? what have you done? Was the last game? What have you done? Oh, when... oh, that was a. Yeah, that was the one you yeah. done whilst you were at Yakes, I think. Right, uh... and that was uh, the list of the movies. Yeah, that was like the multiple choice movies. Oh, I swear, because were to... we sat next yeah, to each yeah, other yeah. trying to do that? I don't remember that. Who knows? Yeah, Who stunned. cares, frankly? <laughs> uh, and was, on that exciting really and frankly... Disappointing. <laughs> disappointing ending. Uh, we are going to <laughs> wish you a great week, a yes. great evening, a great morning, a great afternoon, great lifetime. No, have, have a good birthday. And, and Christmas. Birthday. Yeah. Yeah. New, New and Year. Halloween. Halloween. Hanukkah. Hanukkah, you know, for, the, yeah. for those Jewish I, listeners out there. Are we going to list you know, shalom, every religion shalom. and every... <laughs> to those Jewish listeners out there. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Have a good Ramadan. Okay. Enjoy your oh, holiday. Wait, no, that's have a good, 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 good Ramadan. Enjoy no, they could be listening to this any time. That's what I'm saying, you know. 
have a good, oh, um, yeah, good point. Yeah, you know, yeah, good have a good bar live mitzvah. Well, live love. Oh, wait, live, if love, someone, if live, someone laugh, love. Love. <laughs> Don't for all those, young, yeah, for all those middle uh, middle aged mums out there that like shopping at um, Dunhill Mill, live, laugh, love, and shop live, at Audi. Live long and for prosper. fuck's sake, shop live at Audi. It's cheaper. What? Thank you very much. And good night. Shop at Audi. What? For, shop at what are you Audi. Talking it's, about it's no. cheaper. This is rather why, cheaper why than Dunhill Mill. To but Audi? today's why would today's you, today's don't shout out to Audi. Why are you sponsoring Audi? I think Germany. I prefer Germany is paying me a lot of money. Little. Um, oh, are they? So please shop at Audi. You've got all the knockoff brands you could ever want. Yeah. Who, who the true. fuck is Oreo? All I know is Neo. Um, <laughs> oh, exactly. What you were talking who about. Who the fuck is Walkers? I know Snack Sisters. Or, or, snack um, Sisters. Snack Right. What the fuck? Uh, Lay's, isn't it? That's the American one. Honestly, let's just talk about Audi. No, we no. <laughs> no, let's let's, let's end the podcast instead. Let's, maybe I let's can just go that. and spend a hundred quid an Audi on a month's shop. Yeah. If right, you right, are okay, I'm I'm gonna let Yates continue to talk about Audi, but that is so, the end of yeah, the podcast. Well, I, I, <laughs> we will see you all next week. Little little see is later. better than Audi. See you later. Hashtag yeah. release the Audi yeah. cut. I'm going. I'm release going the Audi, Audi cut. <laughs> He's gone. Put Yates some clothes on first. Put some. Get your nuts out. Get your balls out. See you later. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Uh, I think, I think <laughs> he's fully it. left the room. <laughs> he's <is> fully left. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, yeah, that was a fucking shit well, show. That, Thank you very much note. for watching, everybody, yeah. or listening, or whatever the fuck. See you later, you cunts. <laughs> <laughs>